Hello everybody, welcome to the paddock here at Shennington. Going to do a bit of a paddock walk for uh, the Super Prix here today. We've started up at the very top end. We've got Joshua uh, Bagembi in the number 52 in Minimax. Joshua, how are we doing today? Um, all right, um, we're a bit off the pace, but we're looking to, ca um, to catch up. Been very busy this season. Uh, you, you had a little bit of a, an incident though at fullback a couple of weeks ago. How's your hand doing? Uh, it's a lot better. Um, went to the hospital and um, it was fine. So nothing. It was just big bruise. So you, I think you're right in saying you also had the opportunity to go down to Silverstone to uh, to meet some very special people. How did uh, that go at the Grand Prix a few weeks ago? Uh, it went well. Um, I met Lewis Hamilton's dad um, and I had a chat with him. So it was really really cool. Last question, this Shennington circuit, is it one you enjoy? Um, yeah, I enjoy it. Um, I got my first win here um, in 2020, so yeah. Good stuff. Well, best of luck, Joshua. Have a, have a strong day. Uh, we're going to walk down the paddock, see who we can find. Say up here with the, uh, the cutting edge guys. Great turnout once again here for Shennington Super Prix. What glorious conditions we've got for it today. The gliders are out as well. I say, always a bit of a scary thing I, I find when uh, when you have the gliders come over the top of you here uh, at the circuit. Let's see who we can have a little chat with. I know we've got Pro Train, Pro Train down here before, uh, so I don't think we've talked to them before. Yeah, a great number of carts out here today. Let's see if we've got a chat with the driver. Quick interview. Yep. What's your name, where are you from, and uh, which class are you in? Byron Kettle, KZ, um, from Norfolk. How's the car running today? Uh, it was good then, struggling with rear grip, and then just had an engine problem, lost compression, so, yeah. Probably could have got P3, but, yeah, DNF, so. It's very hot here today. So, so you mentioned the grip, is that a problem with tyres? Uh, that will be come final, yeah. Yeah, final will mostly be about who's got the best rubber. Yeah, but it's a border between trying to save it and then trying to push, so yeah, we're getting there. It's hard, but yeah. Fair enough. Well, best of luck, and uh, we'll see the KZ. Really excited to see the KZs here today. And uh, yeah, it's where we run, obviously, the different, slightly different layout on the gearbox uh, circuit compared to the non-gearbox circuit, so watch out for that on the stream later. We're going to have a little chat here with chat <laughs> with another driver. <laughs> You've been scarfing now. I have been, uh, yes, DJ's running away. What's your name, where are you from, what class are you in? Adam Hill, Mini Max 66, so. How's things going today? Not bad. Didn't come yesterday, so didn't qualify or do the race, so. Very well. So we're looking for a bit of a, a fight from the back today. What do you reckon you can do out there? Um, P3, P2, uh, maybe P1, so high hopes. Good stuff, and this circuit is very warm today, is that going to be a challenge? Uh, it's always very warm in England. Um, it might be with the tyres overheating and the engine, but hopefully we can just get job done. Good stuff, well done Adam, great to see you here and uh, have a good day, but yeah, Adam not able to take part yesterday, so uh, we'll have a bit of a job in the second set of heats to move his way through. DJ, who else Who else have we got here? We've got a couple more drivers, we're going to go go in and have a chat here with number 26. Number 26, oh, like. what's your name, where are you from? Uh, Ryan from Bermondsey and High Wycombe, um, yeah, racing KZ. KZ looking uh, very tricky out there, it's very hot, you can see the tyres have been working hard. How did uh, practice go this morning? Practice was alright, it was just three laps, but we've just had a heat. Um, and it's a war of attrition out there, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, you know, ours is coming on towards the end of the race, other people physically and the tyres are going off towards the end. So hopefully that bodes well for the final. What would you hope for in the final, what would be a good result? Well, to be honest, we came here hoping to not end up in the B final, so we're not going home early, but we've had a, an 8th and an 11th in our heats, so if we can bring home a top 10, I'll be well chuffed. Who else do you think is, uh, is out there? Compete, obviously, you got through to the A final. Who, who do you think is your biggest rival out there today? <sighs> myself. <laughs> if I can maximise myself and the equipment, then we'll be there, so I don't really worry about anyone else. That's all I've got to do. Fantastic. Well, well done, Ryan. Great to see you there in the A final. Uh, I'll see them later on. I've lost where DJ is. DJ's my runner today. Oh, he's down there. He's waving at me and he's got some 
more drivers to talk to. But yeah, there's a lot going on today. My next thing, Oliver Smith. Oliver, how are we doing today? Good. Uh, the car tire, have you been out so far this morning? Yeah, we had practice this morning. Um, we were second quickest in that. Good stuff. We've been talking a lot about the temperatures today. Are you well hydrated and ready for what's going to be a hot day of racing? Yeah, ready. we just got to keep, try and keep the engine temperature down. And it's, so hydrated. Is this a circuit you've got much experience around? Uh, it's like our fourth time here. So, yeah. Good stuff. Well, well done, Oliver. Great to see that pace earlier on. Let's go. I've lost him again. Ah! Now here's a face that I haven't seen in a while. Jack Ransom. Good to see you, mate. Yeah, you too. Jack, how's, how's things going today? Um, yeah, not too bad. I mean, I'm a little, I think a couple of tenths off sort of race winning pace, but sort of hopefully top five would be good. Just keep it clean in the next heat and then you'll all play for in the final, really. You've, you've run well round here before in previous editions. Yeah. In terms of the cart, what what have you mainly been working on the last few months? Well, I mean, well, in terms of karting, I did the BUKC 24 hour or well, a couple couple um, months back. That was good. But this is my first race out here in, in a year. So I'm just sort of getting back into it and enjoying being back out racing, to be honest, because unfortunately work's taken over most of my uh, social life. So I don't get out racing as often as I'd like to. But yeah. Do you miss BUKC as well? I do, I do. I think pound for pound, if anybody watches this, you should do it. If you go to uni, it's probably the best like fun you'll have for what you pay for the drivers are great the um the competition is really good everybody's really friendly so it's, it's a really good series to get involved in so um yeah i'd highly recommend these conditions here today we're already in the mid 20s it's going to get up into above 30 degrees have you experienced conditions like this before um, yeah, I think once actually, a couple of years back, it was 20, 2018, it was really hot, it was similar. I actually tend to go a bit better, being smaller, it sort of works in these hot conditions. So fingers crossed, this will play into my hands, but um, it's, it's some stiff competition, so we'll have to wait and see. Good stuff. Well, good to see you, Jack. We'll see you out there. Jack Ransom there. Got another driver, the DJ's waving at me for. And uh, let's have a, little, have a little chat here. Hello, what's your name? Where'd uh, you come from? So I'm Amy Catchpole and I come from Daventry. I think I'm right in saying you're racing in the Rotax Libre class. I am indeed, yeah. Tell us a little tell us a little about the class. Uh, so it's a nice little class. I mean there's not as many in it as we liked or there was last year at the Super Prix. Uh, but it's a nice little class, you know, it's meant to be the economy side of uh, well, Rotax really. So it's a junior pre Evo engine, um, green maxi tires to match with Clubman. Uh, yeah, it's meant to be an economy sort of class, but that everyone can have fun in. So, I say it is a it's a four driver class today, and you're out there with the TKM Clubmans as yeah. well. How's that? How are you finding that? Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, we're used to running with Clubman anyway, so it's not that it's because of the Super Pre it's anything different. Uh, I mean, again, it'd be nice to get some more on the grid just to get our own race, like we did last year. Uh, but they're not too bad. Yeah, they're not too bad to race with. And the cart as a whole, is it handling well? Uh, normally, yes. This weekend, we've had a bit of trouble. Um, Handling-wise, it's a bit all over the place, so we've had to rectify that. Um, and then this morning, we did our three laps of practice, and we had a bit of a misfire. So again, we've had to cure that. So hopefully, for the second heat today, it'll be a lot better. Good stuff. Well, hopefully, uh, you can get those issues fixed. Well done, Amy. We'll see you out again later. We're going to pop into Pro Train. Lots of activity going on all here. From Kenya to be here. All the way from Kenya. What's your name? Chris. Chris, Chris yes. Uh, which class are you racing in? Uh, X30 Senior this weekend. Very competitive category then. Uh, lots of activity going on. How, how have things gone so far this weekend? Uh, practice wise, it's, uh, in fact, pace wise, it's gone really great. Um, heat one wasn't the best. I got caught in an incident, so it was a DNF. But yeah, we'll come today and we see what can happen. Have you driven this circuit before this weekend? Yes, I have, on Friday and yesterday. So it's uh, still relatively relatively new to, to it then. In terms of the corners out there, it's a very high speed circuit. Which do you think are the biggest challenges? Um, mainly, um, not even the track in general. I think it's a very great track. Um, I've got up to speed very quickly. Um, I think it's just the competitive um, racing that we're going to have. It's a bit difficult, yeah. 
And what would be the hope for today? What would classify as a, as a good result to go home with? Top 15 the top 10. Yeah, it's a pretty good margin for my second race here. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, excellent seniors. We'll watch out for Chris later on. Mama Chris, how are you feeling today? Thank you. Today it's nice and good weather, so we are happy. So we're not used to this in this part of the world in Warwickshire. It's normally a bit rainy. Kenya is 10 degrees, so we are happy here. <laughs> um, how are you feeling as, as a parent watching Chris out there race today? I'm a bit nervous, but all the best to him today. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, thanks for chatting to us. Uh, I've lost DJ. He's always there. He's behind me. I had a chat with Adam earlier, but good to see the Pro Train team uh, out in force. I think we might pop into the 210 Nationals. Should we pop into the 210 Nationals? Yeah, let's pop into the, the 210 National paddock. Now these carts, if, if you ask me, are something else. Uh, another set of gearbox carts, a little bit different to the KZs. Very raw, very old school, and uh, looked like a lot of fun to drive. And uh, I was hearing yesterday that actually some of the drivers having issues with too much grip on this very warm weekend in mid-July. I'm going to try and catch an eye of a driver. We'll pop over here, see if Folks are happy to do a quick interview and we'll have a look over one of these carts as well. Morning guys, how are we doing? How's the cart going? Uh, it isn't, that's why I'm here. <laughs> um, I had a problem, we, we did a couple of parade laps, went around for the parade laps, coming onto the grid and it's just bogged down. Couldn't get it going, it's just cut out on the grid. But now we found the plugs come loose and uh, I think the helicoil's come out the head, so we'll see. Tell us a little bit about the 210 National Class in general. What, what's it about and how can people get involved? Uh, basically, the 210s, it's, it's a historic class. It's basically um, an old 9E Villiers engine, 210 Villiers engine. It's bored out to 210. Came out of the factory with about 8 brake horsepower. We're running around about 40 brake horsepower out of them. So they do tend to be quite fragile get quite, and they are quite, all quite maintenance uh, intensive. If anybody wants to get into the 210s, just come along, talk to us. It's the friendliest bunch of people you will ever meet. Um, we've, we're, we're in a four 40th year now um, and basically we pride ourselves on a camaraderie and if we can get somebody out there and help them to get out there we will do. Aside from the the powertrain I've been hearing that it, the level of grip that these carts are producing this weekend is proving a challenge with the heat. Uh, very much so, yeah. Uh, we're getting quite a bit understeer. Um, they're a heavy cart at the end of the day. Most of the carts on here are, are a lighter cart. These are gearbox carts. They're an old heavy engine. Um, and if you're going into a corner, we're, we're trying to scrub 50, 60 mile an hour off the speed, uh, which is great. But this with this weather, it's a shiny surface. It's, we've not got the traction we want. But uh, at the end of the day, we'll still we'll still go for it. Always keep a smile on the face. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Well, thanks for talking right, to us. Always uh, always great to have the 210 Nationals uh, along. Who else can we uh, find out there? Should we head? I think we'll head back up, back up towards the main paddock. But like, as I see here with the number six nine, we've even got some of these carts with some uh, some aero on them. In fact, I'm going to grab a quick chat here. What's your name? Where'd you come from? Shane Cox. I'm from Cheltenham, so fairly local, not too bad. <laughs> How's the cart running today? It's the first time it's actually finished a race so far this weekend. I've been trying to set it up, get it running. It's running a bit hot, so I've got to change the jet and ready for the next race. I couldn't go full throttle, so next race will be a lot better. <laughs> Good stuff. You've got a wing on the back. How, tell us about that. So I'm the only one in our class that's running a wing. Uh, I'm really into my aerodynamics, I work in the aerospace industry yep. and there's lots of little little tweaks on this, it's not just the wing, it's the side pods, it's the front, it's everything. I, I, so I'm just really passionate about aero, so I just like fiddling about with it. And it's, it's a very high speed circuit, This we've got some high speed corners, I can imagine that, that does give a bit of performance. Definitely, I, I know, um, I remember one of the years uh, I had a structural problem on the wing at the back and I had to take it off on the bottom corner down there, I was nowhere near as quick. So it does actually give a benefit. Uh, adds a bit of extra weight, uh, but... <laughs> it's always the trade-off. Yeah, I'm a little bit bigger anyway, so it, yeah, I, I like, I, personally I like the grip, so, so it's good. Fantastic, well thanks for talking to us, Thank best you. look later on. It's one of the things I really like about the 210 Nationals, is the engineering side of it, as, as we see there, a lot of these carts 
you know, amateur drivers, but putting a lot of time and effort into and then knowledge as well from from industry. So that's that was really, really good to see. We'll, uh, we'll head back out and have a little bit of a chat. I'm going to stick a microphone in front of uh, DJ's face. Oh, DJ. Hello. 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 Uh, you're not my runner anymore. I'm not interviewing you. Yeah. Um, it's a good atmosphere here today. It's a great vibe, isn't it? The paddock's fantastic. I mean, we've got carts from all sorts of different areas. We've got the historics over there. We've got moderns over here. We've got moderns over there. We've got rapid carts here. We've got a mixture of everything. That's what the Super Prix is about. And I think to, if you're not here, you're, where, who, where are you? Exactly. <laughs> let's, uh, let's spin around and have... I think we're going to go back down towards uh, the more of the modern paddock and the classes that we see uh, run on a lot of our uh, broadcasts here on Alpha Live. Remember, all the content free and available to watch at your leisure. So if you do have to hop out today and uh, want to catch up later on, you can do. And do make sure you've clicked that subscribe button as well. <laughs> Bit of a lull uh, in proceedings at the moment. We're just getting ready for the next set of heat here today and the heat really starting to build up from from the weather that we've got and as I say I know we keep talking about it a lot but it is going to be a big factor here today we'll uh, pop down and hopefully catch with a couple more drivers before we clock off for this paddock walk. Have we been in Spellfame yet? Yeah, let's, go. let's go in Spellfame. Let's have a little look around Spellfame Karting. Great to have them here. One of our sponsors for the Super Prix uh, in 2022. We're going to. Yeah. Around, so I think he primed himself <laughs> for an interview. Driver, what's your name and where'd you come from? Emmanuel Hay, uh, number 43. This is my wagon. Uh, Tell us a little, about the, a little bit about the cart. Uh, new chassis. Came over from Australia. But. It's good, just about getting the development and getting it all ready. And how, many, how many hours do you reckon in terms of testing have got into uh, preparing the cart today? Uh, well, we didn't do Friday, so we did Saturday, which was the two practice sessions and my first heat, so not many. So we had about a couple hours on it. But Fair enough. And how do you find this track? It's very warm out there. It's, it's good, the, the grip's good, but I've only been here three times, so it's a, bit of an, it's a bit of a learning curve for me. Excellent. Well, I've got to say, I've absolutely beautifully uh, set out carts here. James is just getting a good shot of us for. Thanks for talking to us. We'll, uh, we'll catch you up in a bit. How much time have we got? We'll just keep going. We'll keep going for now. Uh, here we've got the Jade team who DJ had a bit of a chat with yesterday and we saw we saw in there yesterday James is going to stick the camera in there a little bit but lots of activity going on ahead of today's racing but Jade Racing Team another one of the sponsors big thanks to all of the sponsors uh, for the Super Prix this year once again a really well supported event so uh, big thanks to all of them and the prizes. It's, it's not just that it's a one-off event, it's, it's the honour of having the E-plate for a number of the classes here this year. And the sponsors have provided a, a good amount of... Uh, in fact, we've got another driver here that DJ's found. Driver, what's your name and where are you from? Simon. Um, I'm from Slovakia, but... Um, well, I was born in Britain, but my parents are Slovakian. Good stuff. So racing is a novice today. How are you finding it? Difficult. Difficult. There's lots of quick drivers on the grid. Um, people that race in Europe. And it's go I mean, it's going good. There's a few other novices. Uh, but yeah, I can't. I I'm, I'm there. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's hard to start off, but... Once everything goes, it, it goes good. How hard's the work out there today with the conditions? It's tricky. Uh, the tyres, you want to find the right pressure so they're not, they don't overheat too quickly. So they last, because last time we've had, we've had trouble. For example, we went out and the whole axle moved by two millimetres mm. and it was holding on the brake. 
so that wasn't good. Uh, we tried a different engine, kept swapping them over. Uh, my throttle got stuck. Um, uh, not the actual pedal, but the throttle that carried on going forward. Um, so it's been tricky, but I mean, we've got under the heat in the final, so got my hopes, hopes up. Fantastic, a really good effort from you so far this uh, weekend, Simon. We'll, we'll see you later on in the, in the race of Simon Burlick there. No crashes, good, well, let's keep it that way. Uh, we'll head further down. Who's DJ, DJ found now? I think we've got Hadi Mamassi's cart here. Who have we got? <laughs> nobody, nobody wants the uh, microphone. Who, who wants? Who wants to be picked on? Apparently me. Apparently yourself, sir. What's your name? Where you're from? Richard Slee from Northampton. Not too far from uh, from here. Then having no. a good day at the Super Prix. Not too bad. Steady way up. Uh, finished the twelfth uh, yesterday. Qualified tenth. He's doing all right. First year and senior. It's a, it's a cutthroat class, the uh, the senior class, in terms of how much work's gone into it before this weekend, how, how many hours, do we reckon? Not a lot this year, because he's just come back from doing his exams, so getting back into it. We've got preparation for cart masters in a few weeks, so maybe happy, happy days. I'd like to say one of the, this being one of the one-off events, uh, cart masters, uh, later in the year as well, what is it that you like about the Super Prix? It's chill, relaxed weekends, lots of things going on. We've got the historic stuff going around. We've obviously got big Keir's egg grid here this weekend, so plenty to watch. Very good. And we'll, uh, we'll have the action on the stream later. Thanks for talking to us. DJ's found another... He's doing a fantastic job, isn't he? Another driver. <laughs> driver, what's your name? Where are you from? It's Matt, and I'm from Cambridge. A uh, bit of a journey here today from, from Cambridge across the country. How are you finding it? It's all right. Nice weather. I like the weather. Yeah, it's really hot. It's nice. Yeah. And running here in the uh, the Moor Racing Tent, uh, is this a team you've raced with for a while? Yeah, we started KZ in about October time. So, yeah, I've been with them since then. Done a few races and getting there slowly. In terms of experience here before, what else have you, uh, have you raced before you stepped to the KZ? Uh, did a bit of cadets and then junior, senior, TKM. Not much over lockdown, so it's straight into lockdown, straight into one of these, so it is quite hard. And tell us a little bit more about the cart and its history. I don't really know, to be honest. It's quick, it's fast, and I love, I love racing it. It's good good stuff. Well, we, uh, we enjoy watching them as well. Yeah. Cheers, thanks for, for talking to us. Going to talk to Sam here, the boss. One of. One of the bosses. One. Sam, how are, how are we doing here today? Uh, fairly well, to be fair. Um, Arvid was third, Matt somewhere in the teens, uh, Jordan 11th, Colin 13th, but Mike behind us, Mike Watton, uh, his plug clap fell off, so he electrocuted himself. That's not so good. I'll teach him. Uh, set up around here, we've talked about it a fair bit with the, with the temperatures, what have you been working on, if, you, if you're willing to tell us? Yeah, um, so trying to get the cart uh, low in the low ride height settings um, to, to lose a little bit of the grip but also with the tire pressures because it's so key uh, not to, to burn the actual compound of the rubber so we've got to work out uh, how low we can go before it's too low um, so you, you're looking sort of around about eight and a half psi something like that um, and then it's driver preference after that you've just got a little bit here with cast or whips of the front and then whips of the back so yeah we'll, we'll see how it goes and running on the leconte tires as well great to have them sponsoring the event this year how do you find them to be fair pretty good um, when the but we've, we've had like beginning of the year we had some batches and um, they were like from you know just, I don't know what you call it, like this, the rotation of tyre, like as the batches come along. So there was one batch which was particularly a lump quicker than others. So they've settled down again now. So obviously we've had to alter bits for that, but now we're going back to what we sort of used to do. Um, it's just next to nothing really with the setups, but just little tweaks here and there. And yeah, um, everything's sort of fine and consistent. So that's that's what you want really. You know, you can throw a tyre, anybody's got the same set of tyres or same performance set of tyres, we're all right. It's good to go racing. Very good. Well, cheers, Sam. Thanks for that insight. Thanks for thanks for talking to us, taking the time out. But yeah, good to chat to the uh, the more racing team there. Good entry out in the uh, in the KZ category. I'll go down further into the paddock and see who else we can find and who. I was about to say who's willing to have a chat with us. Not many people willing to have a chat with us, but they haven't got an option. 
let's have a let's have a pop into Jamie Green racing then. Jamie, of course, very successful racing driver in his own right. Who can we who can we find in here? And have a little bit of a chat with. Very keen to see how uh, Marnav do can do today. He's seen uh, Marnav race for a few years. He wants to have a chat with us. Does anyone want to have a chat with us? Come on. David. Uh, David, well, David, we'll have a chat with David. David's not run away from me. David, how are we, how are we finding today? Um, I've only done three lap practice, but yeah, it's been all right. Uh, how much experience around here have you got? Uh, quite a bit. I've done a few laps. So, yeah. And in terms of the conditions, how are you finding them? Yeah, they're all right. It's a bit hot, but it's all right. What would be a, what would be a good result today? Top 10 finish, maybe. Top 10, good stuff. Well, thanks, for, thanks for talking to us. And uh, we'll head back out. <laughs> More people. It must be, it must be going round that uh, I'm on the prowl. That's the second person to uh, run away from me in, uh, in the Jamie Green racing tent. Who can we find in? Yeah, I've got one of the carts on the on the jig having a bit of chassis work. It looks uh, by the looks of things. Everyone looking at you. Shall we have a chat with Dan Gould? I think Dan will have a word with us. Let's 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 stick our nose in. We can only be told to go away. Mr. Gould, how are we find how are we finding things here today? How are we yeah, doing? Good. Yeah, yeah, all good actually. Um, Two heats had a um, fourth and a sixth, so yeah, going well. You're the e-plate holder at the moment. What do you reckon the chances are of holding on to that today? Um, yeah, I, I don't think we've actually got. I don't think it's our e-plate round today. Ah, oh, fair enough. My bad. Yeah, so hopefully I don't lose it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so no, should be a, should be good. It's a strong grid, so we'll see how the final goes. But yeah. We've been talking a lot about conditions. You can see there's a decent amount of wear on the tyres, but not too much. Are you concerned about that going towards the final? I think it should be all right. I've got one heat left. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed they'll, they'll still be good for the final. Um, cart's feeling good, so we should be fine. Who else do you uh, want to thank for the efforts to get the cart here today? Uh, obviously, rough performance. Um, my family, but dad uh, and James, my mechanic. So... Good stuff. Well, cheers, mate. We'll uh, we'll see you out again uh, later on. We'll carry on down and see who else we can find. Because this paddock just keeps going and going and going and going. I agree, DJ. Let's go this way. <laughs> if you're enjoying the stream, do uh, make sure to click that like button. And uh, if you've not done also already. Click the subscribe as well, uh, notification bell if you don't want to miss a single stream. Plenty more events coming up uh, across the course of the, ne the next few weeks. More rounds of the British Kart Championship. We've got the British 24-hour kart race coming up as well. Uh, TJ's just pointed over to another another willing victim, maybe, sort of. And we'll, uh, we'll stick our nose in here to see who, who we've got. How are we doing here today? Uh, good, thank you. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, James Ogden from Gloucester. How's the cart handling? Uh, okay, not too bad. Not too bad in the heat. Yeah, good. Talk, talking a lot about tyres, are we finding them that they're handling the uh, conditions out there? Uh, yeah, they're, to be fair, at the moment we're even even running heavy the uh, the tyres are holding up holding up yeah good great me from i think we've got a tkm clubman here as uh, well sorry. extreme uh tell us about the cart and its history um it's been around for obviously a numerous of years um obviously this is a a touch and go uh version um yeah, pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, just does, just does what you want it to do. What would uh, what would be a good result for uh, for you to take home with today? Um, considering the weight advantage, probably anything inside the top half of the field. Good stuff. Well, uh, best of luck with that. Okay. Hope to see you out again later on for the TKM um, Extremes. Where else? 
can we find? I would quite like to find a TKM clubman and talk uh, talk to them as well. There's an old racing friend of mine from the Club 100 days. Let's keep wandering around. If I see a black and orange cart, I'll know who it is. Um, have a bit more of a chat. Conditions still very good. Few clouds in the sky, which is uh, probably a good thing at the moment. Just giving a little bit of respite uh, from the heat. Where is Mr. Summers? The O plate holder at the moment. Let's see, who I want to try and uh, try and find. We've got a we've got a young man here. I think wants to have a little bit of a talk with us. He's a Liverpool fan. I quite like that. Young sir, what's your name and where'd you come from? I'm Bailey and I come from Ormskirk. Are uh, you racing here today? Nah. You're I'm not racing? My brother is. Your brother is. Is he doing well? Yeah. Um, yesterday he's qualified for and yesterday he's he came at second. Good stuff. Well, uh, we'll catch you up here in a bit. That is an orange and black cart, but it's a bit small for a TKM clubman, so... Might see if we can have a quick chat with uh, one of our drivers who's been doing very well in another Alpha live streamed event, uh, Super One Kart Championships. Uh, here, because I can see Jasmine Taylor's trailer is here. I uh, can't see any sign of anyone though, so we'll probably scoot on. We've got the Jack Tex Racing team ahead of us as well. You may have already seen the interview uh, with the boss, Jack. Uh, which DJ got yesterday. Jack racing today as, as well in the uh, KZ category. I think we will just pop into JDR and see who we can find. Oh, we've got someone who wants to have a chat with us. First one of the day. What's your name, where are you from, what are you racing um, in? Um, hello, I'm Riley Morgan, I'm from Honda Cadets. Um, my number's 52. A big Charles Leclerc fan by uh, the sound of the hat. <laughs> yeah, next week is the French Grand Prix. I really hope Charles Leclerc could win it. Ah, very good. Uh, in terms of, you've been out already with one of the uh, early heats. How did that go? Well, well, the early heats, unfortunately, I got pushed off a little bit, but at least we managed to continue on in a fine position. Good stuff. Uh, in terms of the final, what, what would you hope for? Um, I really hope for a, a good finish because um, the, the the two heats that we had, we not really had that good luck yet. But we hope we could push on and we could um, get, get to the top. Get into that top ten. Who do you want to thank for the for the support and getting you here today? Oh, I'd like to thank my dad, um, my mom, my my grandparents, BKC Racing, and Alpha Life for interviewing me. Oh, thank you very much. That, that's a first. That's a first. I've been thanked for interviewing. Cheers. I'll catch you in a bit. What a lovely young guy. We'll, uh, say we'll pop in to JDR and TWM running in here as well and see who we can find, who we can annoy. Plenty of activity uh, going on in here at the moment. Quite warm. Uh, let's head on down the bottom end. I think we've got a couple of drivers who've uh, just come in. We'll try and grab Leo Robinson for a second. Leo, up for a quick chat with us. How are we finding things here today? Good. Um, better day today than yesterday. Uh, obviously, well, I had a uh, DNF yesterday. Um, just got P5, so I'm happy with that. It's always a bit of a good feeling when you when you bounce back. I saw that DNF uh, yesterday. It was very unlucky. Yes, you could have maybe a bit of a compromised grid position for the final, but are you still confident with that heat result? Yeah, I'm confident. I think I can come through as much as I can and hope for a good result. It is a circuit that you can overtake around here. Which which corners do you think are going to be the hotbeds of activity? Probably Wilkins and Calf. They're the easiest. Who do you want to thank for uh, the uh, effort to get you here today? Wheel deal tyres, because it wouldn't be possible without them. My dad and TWM. Good stuff. Well, cheers, Leo. Thanks, uh, thanks for talking to us. Best of luck for later on. Yeah, it's a real uh, setback for Leo yesterday, but see him respond in that manner, come back through. Very, very impressive indeed. We're going to have a chat with another driver. What's your name, where are you from, and what are you racing in? Uh, my name is Fen Chapman. Um, I'm from North Yorkshire, and I'm racing in TKM Extreme. 
TKM Extreme, one of the most competitive classes that we've got here today. How, how are you finding it out there? I'm finding it pretty good. The drive towns are really good in this class, so hopefully we make it back to here in one piece. Uh, what, what have we mainly been working on with the car? I can see we've got the, the heat reflective tape on the fuel tank. It's, it's looking quite warm out there. Well, we'll just try to keep the fuel cool so like the fuel gets into the engine and like we got to wear more power straight. So. Ah, good stuff. In terms of the team, who's, uh, who's pulling the most amount of work here today? Uh, I'm going to say it's between either Willie or Theo, really. Yeah. I think, yeah. So. Ah, good stuff. Well, best luck. Uh, good to always talk to one of the uh, TKM Extreme drivers. Uh, I think we'll, we'll probably we'll have another, another chat with a, with a driver here. How are we feeling? Not bad, not bad. We've been uh, been all right in qualifying and in heat one, so it's gone good. Have you uh, been out uh, been out today so far? Uh, yeah, we did free lap practice, but we had some sort of power issue, so we changed the motor and carb. So see how heat two goes. So still got heat two to come, and then uh, the final later on. What would be a good result? Anywhere in front of the people in the club championship, e plate's just a bonus. Uh, focus on the club championship more than e, to be honest. So, yeah. How are you finding the club club and championship this year? Uh, well, the club championship has gone all right for us. We're leading it by six points. So we've just got to extend it, really, and just get on with it. Now, good. In terms of uh, the weather as well, is that a concern? Yes and no. Keeping the engine cool is going to be tough. Just got to choke it a bit more. Um, but no, it should, should be all right. Excellent. Thanks for talking to us. Always good to catch up with a, the TKM Clubman. We did get one eventually. Uh, let's carry on through and see who else we can find. And it really is starting to get quite warm now. I think we'll uh, we'll go and have a little find of the historics. Uh, you may need to guide me as to. Oh yeah, so yeah, that was the TWM uh, team back there. I got it wrong. I wasn't the JDR tent because this is the JDR tent. My bad. But we talked to them yesterday, so we'll we'll move through. I think they, ah, okay. Historics are down uh, in this direction, straight on ahead of us, and uh, we'll finish with them. And it's a fascinating, fascinating part of the paddock. This the uh, historic. Carters, very passionate about what they do. And we've got a Radical here as well. Very nice looking piece of kit. Bet one of these is hard work on a day like today. We'll move on, we'll move into the historic and legend area. I'm going to chat with some of these drivers yesterday. Ice cream van here as well, they're going to be busy on a day like today. And uh, we'll see who we can talk to and what we can learn about the carts here as well. Pristinely set out uh, amongst the paddock. A lot calmer as well in this, this part of the paddock. Uh, group of enthusiasts. In fact, we've got a, got a cart here that uh, looks like it's at least a replica of a, of a Formula One champion in years gone by. I'll have a quick chat here. What's your name? Where are you from? Tell us about the cart. Uh, Tom Longfield from Worcester. It's a exact replica of what Button won the European Formula Super A Championship on in 97. I say exact replica, I blew the engine up yesterday, so we got a CRG on there today. Um, yeah, just a very pretty bit of kit, it's how karting should be. Many engine manufacturers, all the kart manufacturers, sticky tyres, lightweight limit. Um, the bride's made in the KZ2 British Champs last year, and this is very nearly as good. Not quite, but it's close. What, uh, what originally got you into historics? Well, I raced cadet carts in the 90s, um, and Dad was actually running the importer ship for Techno. So when I was yo big, this was the class that was current that I always looked up to. Yep. Um, and then what, five, six years ago, one came up for sale and I had to buy it. Dad said I was mad, but um, yeah, it's one of the best, best bits of money I've ever spent for fun value, you know? They are incredible.
Into how much time do you reckon goes into to keeping a cart like this running? As long as you keep on top and you maintain stuff, and, you know, you check things so stuff doesn't fall off and then disintegrate, then they're not too bad. The engines you need to keep on top of, some people say an hour on a rebuild, other people say three to four, but as long as you know your equipment and it's prepped correctly, yeah. it's no more, what's the word, unreliable than the modern day stuff. Yeah. And it is 10 times more fun. No electrics to go wrong, no sitting on the grid if the starter motor doesn't work, you're not in the race, you know. They're just, it's how karting should have stayed in my opinion, but there we go. Oh, very good. It's absolutely beautiful machine. Thanks, uh, thanks for talking to us. And uh, yeah, great, great to see some history. Not just well, but saw the history with uh, some replicas of uh, Ayrton Senna in years gone by. Uh, but Jensen Button and his dad John Button as well, of course, having a, a rich uh, heritage in uh, in karting. We've got lots of carts over here. I'm gonna step around the back there's people running away from me let's have a let's have a little chat here what have uh, what's your name and where what have we got here today i'm chris um this is uh do you want to my uncle his it's his car so hey, fine. let's talk to him good morning good morning uh what's your name tell us a little bit uh, about that it's in cleveland from uh, up from east yorkshire and uh, we're just down here at the the shannon shannington historic festival it's fantastic so we've got the uh, Su the suzuki rm on a, an F1 chassis, and we've also got a, an Anderson with a, a Rotax 257 on it. So we're just sort of trying to wear them both out together. <laughs> How did you first get into the the game of or the the club of racing historics or driving historics? Um, well, we used to do it back in '85 um, when they were new. We used to race them then, uh, and then you have a family and you sell everything. Uh, and then we went to Cadwell Park and the, there was the Legends group and there was, I remember you, I remember you, remember you. And then all the stuff that you sold years ago, do you buy it all again and start again? And we've got four carts now and we've had to buy a lorry to move everything and just get silly, but we love it. And it's such a lovely atmosphere. And if you need anything, people will help you. And it's just, just really enjoyable. Just, yeah. How, if for anyone looking into it and getting involved, what's the, the best way for them to, to take that first step? Well, I suppose the best thing is to come and have a look and see what you're really interested in, because we have gearbox carts, but they're also the direct drive. Um, it's a different style of driving, but this is more car style because we've got the three pedals. Um, but we wouldn't knock each other, so it's... Uh, it's, it's whatever you fancy, really. So some people like the look of the, the super carts with the bodywork, which I do, and some like the more direct drive, 100cc approach. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's different horses, different courses, really. So, yeah. Really good stuff. Thanks for, thanks Thank for talking to us. And, it, and it's something that I would echo as well. Um, but yeah, it's such a wide range of uh, of different bits of machinery from different eras it's it's really something that if you've got anything the slightest interest in karting get involved check them out it's a fantastic paddock to be a part of i think we'll we'll probably we'll probably finish here so a couple more super carts and uh see if Richard wants to have a little chat with us. Richard, have you got a minute of your time? Yeah, sure. How are we doing here today? Yeah, we're all good, thanks. Just chilling out, ready to uh, go out again and get roasted. <laughs> yeah, it's like boil in the bag, but yeah, all good. Which carts are you driving to? Is it uh, the four, both of them? Both of, both of these are mine. Um, I should be driving the bowling replica, which is obviously Loctite sponsorship. And Steve, my friend, he'll be taking out the rapid movements, Yamaha. So, uh, fingers crossed, we'll all be good again. But a little issue with that one yesterday, it was getting roastingly hot in the la sort of the second session of the last time we went out. So I've done a bit of mods, a bit more fuel in mods and stuff. But obviously if it gets too hot, we'll, it'll pull off. And, but fingers crossed, all good. Uh, this one, I didn't get this finished till Thursday morning. I was putting the engine on Thursday morning. Yeah. So that was a bit too much last minute dot com for me. But we're here, we've had it running twice. So yeah, all good. In terms of the, the history of the carts, what do we know about them? Um, I've got, well mine, I've got, these both got chassis numbers. This one is a 1983 Zip Intercontinental GP. Uh, that's 
you can tell that because he's got the twin disc set up on the back. Uh, that's a 1980 Zip GP which has just got the single disc. Uh, this came out literally at the beginning of 83. Uh, the, the replica that I've done is Lennart Bowling, who's a Swedish champion, won an awful lot of European championships, and obviously his main sponsor was Loctite. Uh, that one is um, a Rapid Movements replica. Rapid Movements were a company owned by Ted Moore, who owned an air freight business that used to take um, all the motorsport cars around the world, so he sponsored a supercar team. Uh, the Zero is uh, Dave Buttigieg, so he was the driver. Uh, zero denotes that he won the World Cup and the other two people in the team were Carolyn Grant Sale and uh, Nigel Smith but that's a butty replica that one so yeah looking forward to going out again good stuff well cheers Richard thanks uh, thanks for talking to us and we'll see the historics later on uh, this afternoon 20 past 12 yeah and running into uh, before we get into our finals, you'll be able to watch that, or you may already have watched that uh, here on Alpha Live. We're going to wrap things up there. Thank you very much for joining us here for this paddock walk. My name's been Andrew Rather. We'll head back into the coverage for here today at the 2022 Shellington Super Prix.